everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you the products that I picked up during the Sephora holiday bonus sale and I honestly didn't expect to get this many products because I had planned just to get some backups of my favorite products and some gift sets for Christmas but I walked in there and I caved. Yes, I know, I know. But it is a good idea to get things on sale, right? I mean, at least that's what I keep telling myself. But I didn't go over my budget, which is good, and it is very important to set a budget because, you know, don't do like me. When you walk in there, you can get a little crazy. But anywho, I'll go ahead and list all the dates and tiers down below. The sale does go until November 11th, so we still have a few more days until the sale ends. Now let me show you the eyeshadow palettes that I have been kind of looking at, but I didn't get because they are a little bit on the pricier side, so... During the sale, I thought, okay. And these are by Pat McGrath, and these are her Bliss Astral Quad Palettes. I picked up three that she came out with, and two of them I have here, and one will be probably be delivered either tonight or tomorrow. And when that one comes in, I'll put a little video of what that one looks like, because it'll probably come late. And today, it is a cold and dreary and windy and rainy kind of day and I had to put my ring light on and I know the lighting may be off so I'll just pop a little video of when that quad comes in. And this is what the outside packaging of the quad looks like. It is the last four of her tin pan palette for special shades that are in the end of those palettes. So she came out with three of them and here is one of them right here. This one is called... Oh, I can't remember. Nocturnal Nirvana is what I have on my lids right now. And I use this green shade right here. And I put this yellowy gold one in the inner corner and just kind of, you know, popped a little bit in the center of my eye. And then I put this deep purple one in the outer corner to give me a little bit dimension. Now I do have to say for me, I can't use these quads by themselves. I need to bring in another palette to bring those matte shades for my transitions. And I'll show you what I use for this look later because uh, I got more palettes here. But again, these are her special shades that are in the end of her palettes. And let me tell you, they are whoa right out there and the other one i got is the iconic illumination and i have to say i think this one is my favorite one and here are what the shades look like and i know it looks you know kind of mm, and boring but let me tell you this brown shade right here i just put that all over my lid and did a matte transition shade and that is what i did and i used this palette in my video that I did for the uh, advent calendar, the Fortnum and Mason. I'll link that one down below so you can see what it looked like on. And I believe I also popped this shade on top of it just to give me a little bit of a oomph. But this one I think is my favorite of the two that I have. I haven't gotten the other one yet and that one is called Realistic Rose. I haven't gotten it yet. Maybe that might be my new favorite because lately pinks are kind of my new thing now. Who knew? These quads cost $65. Yes, I know four shades for $65, but these are her special shades that just gives you that added oomph to your, to your eye look. I also picked up one of her new lipsticks that kind of goes with the quads, and it comes in a blue bullet, matches the box that it comes in, and this one again is called Christy, and this is uh, classified as a beige nude, and I'm wearing it right now, and I think it looks a little bit more pinky to me. I don't know. I don't know, but let me swatch it for you. See, there it is right there. I think it looks more of a pinky nude, not a beige nude, but that's just me. That's just me. I'm wearing it right now, and I do like her matte trans formula lipsticks. I have several of them that I really do love, and it just feels very comfortable on my lips. It's not drying at all. I also do use a lip gloss because that's that's what works for me. I like wearing a lip gloss, but I do like her matte trans formula, so I went ahead and picked up one. Now, the lip gloss that I'm wearing on top of the Pat McGrath, I picked up another one by Hourglass. I love these lip glosses. I think these are the lip glosses that I'm going to wear most of the time, probably like 95% of the time, and I just added one more to my collection. This one is in the shade Horizon, and let me swatch this one for you. This one's also a little bit on the pinky side. I know, I'm going pink in the fall, but there is Horizon right there. Let me pop a little bit more on right now. I love the texture of these lip glosses. It's not tacky at all. It's not sticky. It just feels 
very nice and it stays on my lips for quite a while. So I had to pick up another one. I was watching Alicia from Kinky Sweat and I'll link her channel down below and if you haven't checked her out, I would recommend you do so. I mean, she is very knowledgeable of the makeup that she's trying and she's also very funny. I just love watching her. So when I saw her use these shadows by Marc Jacobs, these cream glitter eyeshadows, I thought, okay, all right. So when I went to Sephora and I swatched them, I picked three of them up. Here they are right here, and the ones that I picked up. Smash Glitz, which is a pinky mauve. Black Rocks, which is a black and plum. And Glitter Rock, which is gunmetal silver. And I already tried one of them, Pop Rocks, and I'll put a video of what I look like with this one on. And I do have to say, these are really nice. I think these are a lot better than the uh, Glitter Shadows by Hourglass. These have a little bit more punch to it and a little bit more glitter to it. They lasted for eight hours. They didn't crease up. The glitter did not move or shift or fall away. And I was talking at this event where there were high school students and one of them did come up to me and said, Ooh, I like your eyeshadows. Very pretty. And I said, Oh, thank you. So I thought that was a really nice compliment. Now I haven't tried the other two, the gunmetal one and the pink one. I know the theme with the pink, it seems like it's going to be this video. I think I forgot to say the name of these. These are by Marc Jacobs, the Sequence Glitter Eyeshadows, and these cost $28. But I'm glad I got these because I think these will be great for the holiday season, especially this uh, gunmetal one here. Picked up two more eyeshadow palettes. They are by Huda Beauty and they were at the end cap of the checkout line. Yes, Sephora got me with that. And these are her Nude Obsession palettes. There are three of them total, but I picked up two, one in light and the other one in rich. The third one, I think it's medium. So there's one in between these two and I didn't pick that one up because I saw the colors and it was, you know, didn't intrigue me that much. But when I saw the light one, I thought, okay, can you guess it? It's pink. So I thought, let me try it and see if they turn out to be a little bit ashy on my skin tone. I could just return it. I did wear this eyeshadow palette in my empties video, and I'll link that one down below if you want to see what that one looked like. To me, I think this is a little bit on the cooler side for my skin tone, but I think it works. I think it works. The only thing is this deep shade right here, I don't think it's deep enough for me. For the outer corner, this would be a great for the transition, but for the outer corner, I think I need to pull in something from another palette. But I do like this lilac purple one and these two metallic shades. Now, I will have to say that there are some fallout with her metallic shades. With the Pat McGrath, there wasn't that much fallout with it, surprisingly, but with the Huda Beauty one, yes, there is some fallout with the metallic shades. And then this is the rich one, so I could probably pull this shade right here to deepen up my outer corner. It is a little bit more on the plummy side, but when I saw it there on the end cap, I thought, okay. I do like her packaging. I do like how compact they are. They're great for travel. Her mattes are pretty good, and so are her metallics, but they do have fallout, so watch out for that. But, uh... So far, I'm kind of liking it, especially the light one, surprisingly. As I was editing, I didn't tell you the transition shades that I use for this eye look, and it is this palette right here by Huda Beauty, the Nude Rich Palette. And I use this one and this one in my crease. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. Oh my gosh, I am slipping here. But with the magic of editing, I could just pop it back in here. Picked up two blushes from Clinique, the Blush Pops. This one is in Pink Honey Pop, and it's what I'm wearing right now. And this darker one, I can't wait to try this one, the Black Honey Pop. I was a little worried with this one, it may be a little bit too light, but I think uh, it turned out okay. Here's what the Pink Honey Pop looked like. Again with the pink, I know, I know. And here's Black Honey Pop, and I can't wait to try this one. Really do like these blushes from Clinique. Kathy from Beauty Care Chats talk about these blushes all the time. I already have two of them, Fig Pop and Peach Pop, and now I have two more. I got a sample size of this product right here. It's by Bumble and Bumble, the Surf Spray. I believe I got the sample size in a Look Fantastic box, and I started trying it uh, about a couple weeks ago, and I kind of like what it's been doing to my hair. It gives me that... Uh, texture to it. So I went ahead and got the full size of it and it says it's a salt spray for beachy wind, wind, wind swept styles. <laughs> Try saying that three times. Wind swept styles. That's what it says here and I kind of like it. It does give me that texture to give me that fullness to it and so far I'm kind of liking it so I went ahead and got the full size. And here are some of the backup products that I got. One of them is the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I mean for seven dollars you can't go wrong with this and being on sale 
So I picked up a couple of these. And then this by The Ordinary, the Caffeine Solution 5%. This one is not on sale, unfortunately. I mean, it's under $7. And I use this for underneath my eyes. And I'm almost out with the one I have now. So I figured I might as well get a backup of it. Get it shipped with the other items to save on shipping. So got a backup of this. And the only Sephora favorites I got is the Skin Care's Next Big Thing. They have a dozen or so of these Sephora favorites. But this one is the one that caught my eye mainly because of the Boom Boom Cream and it has the Indie Lee and it has something from Herbivore. Let me put it up close so you can see. So yeah, this is what's in this Sephora Favorites box. This one cost $40 and it has a value of $120. And again, they have several Sephora Favorites and it's a good time to buy them, these kits because they make great gifts or if there are products in here that you wanted to try, it's a good way to try it. And I went ahead and used my points and I got this kit by Biosense, the Clean Reset, and it has these four products in there. The one thing that I really do love and it comes in a travel size is the squalene and peptide eye gel. So I got a little travel size of that one. I have tried this oil and it's also in the Sephora favorites kit. It's not my favorite, but I could just pass that along. And I wanted to try this uh, squalene, the squalene and omega repair cream. So I wanted to try that one too. And then November is my birthday month. So I got my birthday gift from Sephora and I picked this one, the one by Drunk Elephant. It has the uh, jelly cleanser and the proteiny and poly peptide cream. So I got this for my birthday month. I'll be turning 52. The next three are Christmas gifts for my family members. So if you're watching this, don't look, don't look, no peeking. This one is by Fresh. It has two of the lip treatment lip balm. One of them is the original and I believe this one is the minty flavor. It's a cute little box. It comes with a little string here so you can put it on the Christmas tree. And this gift set by Lancome, it is the Big Volume Lash Trio. It has the full size of the Miss Your Big and also a travel size. And the eye makeup remover. No peeking now. And this gift set by Tatcha, it has the water cream, the mist, and the cleanser. So I went ahead and did some early Christmas shopping. And believe me, I want to get it done as quickly as possible. So at least I got a few out of the way. Well, all right, these are the products that I picked up during the Sephora holiday sale. And I think I did good. I think I did good. I mean, I didn't pick up the 28 pan palette by Natasha Denona. I can't remember the name of that one, but I didn't pick that one up. I did swatch it and uh, it didn't intrigue me that much. Not like the quads by Pat McGrath. And I didn't pick up the tin pan palette, the new one, the Mothership uh, 6, I believe, by Pat McGrath. I swatched that one too and it's like, no, I like the quads better. And then the new one by Charlotte Tilbury, the Eyes to Mesmerize, yeah. I did a video on the one last year and the one the year before and I returned them both so I wasn't going to get this one. Even though some of the shades were quite pretty but I think most of them are duplicates and they just don't show up very well on my skin tone. So I didn't get that one. And there were other palettes that I didn't get either. I know I'm trying to talk myself that I did good this time. I think so. Let me know down below if y'all picked up anything during the sale or if you're saying nope. I already picked up enough during the year that's enough for me or you're going to be waiting for the Black Friday sales maybe but anywho let me know down below nonetheless if you like and I sure hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and you all have a wonderful wonderful day and I'll see you next time bye bye